Hello everyone, my name is Alkali, and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect thumbnail for any anything you want to do. So, for this tutorial I'm going to use Geometry Dash, as that's what my channel is based off. So, step one is to get a base picture. So this is going to be the, the background, kind of, the background of your thumbnail. So actually I'm going to change the dimensions of this game. There we go. So it's thumbnail size. And so now I'm going to just take a print screen. There. Okay. So I have a print screen on the clipboard. So now we're going to head over to uh, paint.net. Um, I like to use paint.net just to paste the, the background in just the thumbnail for the thumbnail and get the dimensions set um, so yeah there we go and then put it into the right position okay so now you've got the background I, I might want to get rid of these borders to this side get rid of that and of that okay so I'm going to save this as thumbnail test okay so now you have the thumbnail now you have the base picture for your thumbnail um, open up Photoshop or any program you want but I'm, I'm using Photoshop okay so you want to open your picture that you saved um, I forgot what it's called thumbnail test or something uh, yeah, here we are. Okay. Alright. So, now it's open. Um, I like to use uh, shading um, around the edges of the, the border of the, the thumbnail. Um, and make it hardness 0%. So that you get nice um, shady looking I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, something like that, and then just fill that in, just so the borders look nice, and not just cut off, um, okay, and next, you might want to do this, but I'm just going to cut this and put it into a new layer, uh, you can make a blur effect by going to filter, blur, iris blur, and you can move this around um, to where you want the the middle of the blur effect to be. So I'm going to put it there, and as you can see it has a blur effect. Uh, it looks nice from here, but people are going to see this. So you have to take that into consideration when you're making a thumbnail or whatever. Uh, Okay, and now we're going to use the text tool to actually write what's going to be on the thumbnail. Uh, so pick a base color, pick a font, um, I'm going to pick probably this one. Um, I'm just going to write something random, anything. Um, so now you've got your text, you can rasterize this layer type. Um, and then go into blending options, outer glow, and I like to give a black border for text, and just make it very just five five pixels wide. Um, oh yeah, I'm also going to change the opacity like that, hundred percent. And now we need to rasterize this layer style and give another outer glow. But this time it's going to be the color of, say, uh, this. Just something that will that will look good on on the thumbnail. Um, yeah, something like that. Uh, we might want to change the opacity as well. There we go. Um, oh yeah, and now 
there's a nice shiny effect you can use here. Uh, you can cut every, well, copy everything from here, make a new layer and paste it in. Um, and then you can edit this new layer. So this is pasted on the original potato text. Um, I don't know why it's called potato, I just called it potato. And I'll do inner shadow, which gives this um, inner, I'm not sure how to describe it, it just looks, make, makes it look 3D. And then choose any color you want. I, um, I'm going to choose a very light pink here. Okay, and then do that, or just keep it 80%. Um, change this and choose for blend mode you want to choose um, yeah lighten anything that will hard light yeah hard light anything that will look nice you can tell you can mess around with the blend mode see what it looks like uh, distance obviously you don't want to move that too much or it won't look good you want to move it just about enough so that you can see um, that the lighting is there. Uh, size, you don't really want to mess around with that because that makes it more blurry. Choke? I don't even know what choke is. Just don't mess around with that. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That's how to make... You might want to make it a bit bigger, actually. Uh, Choose both of these and then change the size. There we go. Alright, and that's how to make the perfect thumbnail. So, to recap, use blurring effects on the background, uh, shading effect, and the text. You make a black border and add some lighting as well. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if this helped, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.